Today we're going to be making a spicy butternut squash soup. What we need for this is celery, onions, carrots, and of course, butternut squash. Sally's going to cut up the butternut squash and uh, peel it. It's all going to be blitzed, so it hasn't got to be too finely chopped. I'm cutting up the butternut squash. I'm cutting it quite small. Obviously, then it's much quicker to roast. See, he's a chef and he does his all nice and neatly and I do all mine all randomly. The next stage is uh, the roasting of the uh, squash. All you need is the squash for this. And we're going to roast them with the, uh, the spices. I like a, a, a nice teaspoonful of each, so a rounded one. Cumin, sweet smoked paprika, ground coriander, and curry powder. Right. And then two tablespoons full of oil. And then you want it nice and evenly distributed. Okay, so they're all been covered in all the spices. And then we're going to roast them in the oven for 25 minutes. We're going to use uh, the last two tablespoonfuls of oil. And then we're going to put all the, the remainder of the vegetables, garlic and chilli, into here. And don't waste it, what's on the knife either. And then we, we've got to um, sweat these off. The important thing is with, uh, with these uh, sort of dishes that you have to uh, give it time to sweat off. About 10 minutes, you know what I mean? And you, you want it to, to soften, but not colour. I'm going to use two stock cubes as, as we're making soup, and one and a half litres of water. It's always important to use a good stock, particularly if you sort of care about the, the produce you use. If you use nice, well, particularly, I mean, we're, we grow our own vegetables, and so it's silly to sort of really care about your other ingredients and then not to use a, you know, really lovely organic stock cube as well. The vegetables uh, have, have finished sweating off just right. Uh, I'm going to check the, uh, the squash, and that's lovely. Look. You can see that they've roasted. There's a little bit of give there to the, to the squash where they're cooked. And we're going to add these now to the vegetables. Take some of the stock and put it into here. All the rest can go in here. And now I'm trying to get those flavours off the bottom of the pan. And after all that, it makes washing up so much easier. We're going to transfer this into the soup pan now. Look, look, look at the colour, and that's all flavour. I'm going to bring this to the boil now, and uh, I'm going to leave it to cook for 10 minutes. It's had that 10 minutes of cooking now. We're going to take it over. Always make sure that you've got the blitzer right in the bottom of the pan because otherwise it'd be all over the place. And it, it will change from being a watery sort of lumpy soup into a, a lovely smooth silky textured soup. I think we're there now. Okay, let's, uh, let's get it to the table. Now I haven't seasoned it yet, which is that, that's the next thing. So I'm gonna put just a, a wee bit of salt, a pinch of pepper, you know, to lift it that little bit more. That I'm, I'm going to squeeze half a lemon in this and it will just lift the flavour. Look at the consistency of that soup, how it's changed from being a watery sort of lumpy consistency into this silky beautiful soup. It must be one of my favourite soups. It really must be. And to finish it, you want a good quality olive oil. Thank you. Oh, that's lovely. Wow. Good ingredients, good stock, and, and you can have um, a great time. 